Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Gotham Knights video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be a brand new trailer or video that was released for Gotham Knights titled The Batman Family behind the scenes that's right the marketing just keeps on rolling we're past all the ign stuff and they're still giving us some new content to get a look at and i cannot wait to see what this video is going to entail before we jump into this though if you're hyped for gotham knights we are just over a month away from this game being in our hands scroll down right now Hit that thumbs up button, share your excitement with me, and let's get the video to another 2,000 likes because you keep crushing it with the support. And with that being said, let's do this. Okay, here we go. We got the Batman family behind the scenes trailer for Gotham Knights. We're going to watch this now in three, two, one. Oh. There is no Gotham Knights without Batman family. That Robin suit? The fans trust us to be true to the hey. universe. They also want to be surprised. My favorite community manager right there. Really, everything is new. OK, what do you got for Batman us? Batman family means different things to different people. We have chosen to explore the theme of found family within the context of Batman family. There has been a big fracture in the Batman family. They're at odds at each other. They're fighting. They're, they're not a cohesive group. They've never had the chance to to work together because they've all been working fairly independent with the exception of Robin. As you progress through the entire okay. game, you're going to see this gradually change. Move. Ooh. I'm going to solve this case my way. I think each knight embodies Ooh. some of those traits just at different times. Nightwing can have the attitude sometimes, maybe Batgirl the other times, and even the tough guy, Red Hood. You know, he can be the more passionate one at times. But the one thing they all share is that drive to become the next knight. They don't start in perfect harmony. They don't start with perfect balance because they're dealing with a lot of trauma and a big loss. Stop it! <laughs> he wanted us to work this together. But throughout the game, they come together, and that's for a very simple reason. They've chosen to care for each other, and they've chosen each other as a family. Now you're talking. We have character arcs for each of our knights with key cinematics that unlock from start to end of the game. Through these arcs, we explore different things with each of our knights. One thing we delve into is how trauma can affect memory, how grief can linger, and isn't just resolved in a single moment, or even might not be about just a single That's loss. That's good. That's when the good. fans found out that Batman was dead in our game, uh, some of them were expecting to see him. Most of the fans saw the opportunity to experience the universe their own way with new heroes, new dynamics, and as a family. We've known the knights as superheroes with their masks, but what was it like to kind of see them behind the mask as humans? When we look at the way each knight was designed, we Jason took a cue from our, our comic book roots. You know, we did some pretty classic uh, shape language design. For example, red hood, blocky, square, tank-like. Batgirl is more Whoa. symmetrical and uh, balanced. Robin, lower, lighter. Oh, that's sick. Stealthy and Nightwing. Agile, angular, sharp. By having that kind of oh. shape language, it not only helps us develop the way the characters look, but it also goes on to support how the characters move in animation. The suit was sick. The team put a lot of suits. effort in making every character really special with emotional ways to react to situations. Every character has its own path. We worked with Wilson and the cinematics team to make sure that we could showcase their progression, not just in the things they say, but also in Ooh, what they nice. do. We wanted to create oh, a custom sick. experience for the player I love it. and for the viewer to kind of see that they're going to structurally have the same scene, but they're going to see that scene with their own flavor, depending on who they play. Clear out now. No regret. Having a very solid nice. foundation with the performance of the actors was critical because we got that nice base level. Once we take that, we actually bring it with the animators to kind of fine tune and really improve everything, bring those facial emotions, putting their take on it. And this is something that we really wanted to make sure that we got it right. In the Belfry, we see the Knights uh, as humans, as young people talking to each other, having a life, wearing more contemporary, normal clothes. And that's a big contrast to how they look as Knights. Well, well, yeah. Belfry Clock Tower is actually where the four of them establish their base of operations, which is essentially their version of the Batcave. Yep. This place is quite remarkable. Oh, Alfred. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. 
Alfred is literally the glue of the Batman family. He is a confidant, Good. someone they can rely on, and someone with whom grief is shared and understood. That's who he should be. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. Previously, Alfred had to really manage Bruce by himself. Now fast forward to Gotham Knights, now he has four versions of Bruce that he has to manage. He He'd be feeling the most pain out of anyone. And endlessly reliable, but he also will not put up with anyone's nonsense. Alfred's fatherly. He's tough, he's caring, he's he stoic. Plays chess. We took a pretty old school approach, iterating on sketches and sculpts until we found something that really what resonated a, with us. What emotionally. a cool deep dive. When you have the four heroes there together with Alfred, kind of figuring out the space, we've actually managed to pack in, I think, almost 40 cinematics in that little space. But each tell a very different story wow. and a very different perspective of how they live together as a group. Every time Bruce came home, I patched him up, just as I now do for you. It was important Damn right. that our players would be able to relate to right, characters Alfred. on a very basic human level. And that's what we wanted to showcase with our Belfry moments. Not just in the cinematics that happened there, but also in the environment, in the ambient conversations, even in the props you find through the Belfry. There has Ooh. been so much love put by our entire team in this game. So much effort and dedication. I really hope it shines through and it provides an amazing experience. I really hope fans oh, so nice. and players appreciate the oh. variety of looks they can have for their night. I hope they oh. find one that resonates with them and it kind of becomes their favorite. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I want to see more of that last bit, please. Show me more of that now. last bit. I did a 233 custom. Okay, wait. I need to see, first of all, let me loop this just so that we don't lose the video. Um, that bit at the end was nice. First of all, the open world, I, I'm so in love with it. The alternate suits too, oh my, oh my, oh, oh. That like civilian looking suit, I can't remember what suit style that's from, but that is clean, that is clean for Robin. Are you kidding me? Let me like, let me slow this down. Just so we can get like a, a nice look at some of the alternate suits. In general, I'll say too, that this is a really nice little video. Again, I mean, it's titled Behind the Scenes. So a lot of it is the developers talking about the game, talking about, you know, character motivations, the way that they're developing these characters, even down to like Alfred, what his role is in the game, what he does, what his importance is to the knights. I thought that that was very interesting to get. Seeing the cutscenes too, knowing that, yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of tension between Red Hood and Nightwing, or even sometimes Batgirl's gonna be pissed off or a little moody. You know, we know that Robin's a younger kid, so he might be in that, that teenage phase kind of. And so all the knights have something going on that's gonna make them clash with one another sometimes. And I think that's very interesting, but at the same time, they're trying to promote this idea that they are the Bat family, you know, this is a family. They are together and they need to work together at the end of the day. So that's such an interesting idea for me and I cannot wait to see how all of this plays out in this game. What I was also really excited to get a glimpse at and they showed it off here in this video finally, is that Mr. Freeze cutscene. We got to see maybe not necessarily an in-depth look, but a look at what it could be like where four different characters, all four of the characters in the Gotham Knights have different cutscenes. You know, they're going to have different interactions with the characters, the villains, whatever it might be. So when you go into that Mr. Freeze boss battle and you go in with Batgirl or Robin or Red Hood or Nightwing, the cutscene that you enter that fight with will be different based on who you're playing as in terms of dialogue and maybe in terms of the way that even someone like Mr. Freeze reacts to the things that you say. I think that is such an interesting idea. It adds a level of replayability to the game and it makes me want to go back and try that same mission, but this time with a different character. And I'm very excited for that. You can see a bit of that right here and also some of the different suits. Oh my goodness, some of the different suits in this game. I cannot wait to customize the Gotham Knights in this game. And I'm also, again, really excited just to see the interactions in the Belfry. There's a bit of camaraderie there too. Red Hood, I think they're start. I'm starting to get what they're doing with this character. At first, I wasn't fully on board with the fact that he's going non-lethal now, that he's sort of, uh, he's taking a different path. I like Red Hood being that character that's off the deep end, that that character that has gone past the rule of no killing that Batman has set because it could create some tension between him and the Gotham Knights. 
But I think I like the idea that even if they're not going to do that, he's still a hothead. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go out. I'm going to do this my way. I'm going to do this the way that I want to do this. I like that stuff. You know, I want to see more of that from Red Hood. So I hope that that's kind of his character in this game. I really like this video overall. It gives you a good idea as to what the developers were going for here with this game, what their original take is on these Gotham Knights, these characters that people love from the comics, but also how they feel familiar to what you might expect or what you might remember from their comic appearances or whatever it might be. And with that being said, now I want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you think about this brand new video here, the Batman Family trailer? Sound off with your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider hitting that thumbs up button, it would show your support. And I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose. And you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel. Or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have an opinion. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.